Hi first graders, it's Miss Bratt. Today we're going to be doing number of the day again together. So let's see what our number is. What is our number? It's 14. Nice job. Go ahead and write down the number 14 on your whiteboard as quickly as you can. Nice job. I wrote down the number 14. Remember, you need your whiteboard and your 10th box. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to build this number. I'm going to build it on my computer. You can go ahead and use your 10 sticks or your ones, or you can just draw. I am going to use my little computer game. We're building the number 14. So I'm going to start with my 10s. I'm going to pull one down. Ooh. Whoa, I do not need that one. And I'm going to say 10. Now, I don't need another 10 because if I pull down another 10, I'm going to have 20. I want to build the number 14. So I have 10. I'm going to switch to my ones. 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I have the number 14. Go ahead and build the number 14 on your own. You can also draw the number 14. I'm going to draw the number 14 next to my number. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I have the number 14. Our next job is to draw this with coins. We've been talking a little bit about coins, but let's review again. Remember, the dime is worth 10 cents. So a dime is kind of like our 10 stick. It's worth 10. The penny is worth one cent. So the penny is kind of like our one. So when we draw the number 14 in coins, we're gonna start with our dime and say 10. You can go ahead and draw with me on your whiteboard. And then we're gonna count with our pennies. We're almost like our ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. When we make the number 14 in coins, we use one dime and four pennies. One dime and four pennies is the same as 14. Nice job. That's really tricky. Our next step is to break our number into its tens and its ones. So go ahead right now and write down 14 is blank tens and blank ones. Then we'll share the answers. Blank tens and blank ones. All right, three, two, one. I know that 14 is one ten and four ones. That makes the number 14. Nice job. All right, we're now moving on to our next way to show and represent the number 14. The next way is in a number bond. This one makes us think a little bit more. Remember, in our hole, <coughs> oh, sorry. In our hole, we're gonna put our number 14, and then we're gonna break 14 into its parts. I said that 14 was one, 10, and four ones. One, 10 is the same as 10 ones. So we're going to go ahead and put our 10 right here. 1 10 is the same as 10, and 4 ones is the same as 4. So 10 and 4 make 14. And now we're going to use this to create a number sentence. So go ahead and use your number bond to create a number sentence. A part and a part make a whole. So I'm going to use the parts that I made to write my number sentence. I know that 10 plus 4 equals 14. That's my number sentence. I could also write 4 plus 10 equals 14. We know that's true because of the commutative property. So challenge yourself, write two number sentences. Wow, now we've showed the number 14 in so many different ways. Now we're gonna start stretching our brain and adding tens and ones. So first I want us to think 
about one more than four. If I'm just adding one more, I'm gonna be using my ones cube. So go ahead and set up the number 14 on your board. You can use one ten and four ones. Now I'm gonna add one more. When I add one more, I'm just gonna put down one ones cube. Now instead of 14, I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I have the number 15. I still have one 10 because I didn't touch my 10s, but now I have five ones instead of four. Our next job is to take one, is to do one less. So go ahead and make sure you have one 10 and four ones. So you have the number 14. Now we're going to do one less. So we're just going to take away one ones cube. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cross this one out. You can take a ones cube and you can put it to the side. Now instead of 14, I have 10. I still have a 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I have 13. And I know that 13 is one 10. It's still one 10 because we didn't change the tens. And now we only have three ones because I took one one away. Nice job. We only have two more. All right, reset your board. You want to make sure you have 14 still. So you're going to have one 10 and four ones. Now we're doing 10 more. So this time we're not going to touch our ones. We're just going to add a 10 stick. And we're going to put our 10 stick next to our other 10. So I'm going to go ahead and draw another 10. All right, I have added a 10. I didn't touch my ones at all. Now let's count how many we have. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now I know I have 24 because since I added another 10, now I have two 10s and I didn't touch my ones, so I still have four ones. Two 10s and four ones makes the number 24. 10 more than 14 is 24. That's a little bit tricky. Okay, here is a pretty tricky one. This is our last one. Now we're doing 10 less than 14. So go ahead and reset your board. Make sure you have 14. You have one 10 and four ones. Now we're doing 10 less than 14. So take a 10, take away one 10 stick. So I'm going to go ahead and X out. Now, how many do I have left? Let's count. Well, I don't have any tens, so let's just count the ones. One, two, three, four. I only have four. Ten less than 14 is four. I know that because I took away my ten. So do I have any tens? No. So zero tens, how many ones do I have? I didn't touch those, so I still have four ones. Zero tens and four ones is the same as four. 10 less than 14 is four. That's a super tricky one. Nice job, first graders. When you finish, you can send the picture to your teacher so they can see your awesome work. I'll see you tomorrow.